Alright guys, how's it going and welcome to the Pirelli Stadium. Uh, it is a very sunny day here as the Brewers take on the Rams and uh, a clash that could actually lead uh, to us pulling off a massive comeback and uh, avoiding relegation. Uh, so uh, we've had we've been forced to make four changes ahead of this game with uh, injury and illness hitting the Brewers camp and uh, we have also only been able to name six substitutes. Uh, but anyway, we'll get on to the starting eleven before we talk about the subs. Uh, so Stephen Bartlett is in goal, and I think I think we're playing a four-five-one. They could also switch around and be somewhat of a five-two-three, three-five-two, whatever. Uh, could be basically anything really. Uh, but I think we've got Bywater in goal, obviously. Uh, then I think it's John Brayford at right back, uh, Jake Buxton and Carmen Fazard centre back, and Ben Turner at left back. Uh, and then I'm actually going with Luke Sakins on the right, Jacob Davenport, Hope, Alp, and Luke Murphy in the centre, and uh, Joe Sabara is on the left. And then Liam Boyce is up front on his own. Uh, on the bench, like I said, we've only got six subs. We've got Harry Campbell, uh, Jamie Allen, uh, Martin Samuelson, uh, Reese Hutchinson, also academy player, uh, getting a spot on the bench. So uh, well done to him. Hopefully, he can get some minutes today, uh, maybe for the last five or so. Uh, then there's also, um, sorry, there's also Sean Bark on the bench, and uh, of course the uh, the usual really. Um, so it's a really tough one to predict for me because Derby are in really in and out form. One game they'll put in a very solid performance, and uh, the next they'll really struggle. Uh, we saw that against Sunderland and then Bolton, I believe it was, when they lost 4-1 and then beat uh, Bolton 3-0. Uh, I do believe, although uh, apologies if that is incorrect. Uh, so I'm just, just going to be very optimistic and go for a really slight 1-0 Brewers win. And I'll say that Joseph Barra is going to grab the gold. Uh, but you never know, and uh, if you put in a good performance, uh, like I said, you never know what will happen. Uh, so we'll see you guys when the teams come out. Come on, you Brewers.
guys, so it is half time here at the Pirelli Stadium. It is Burton Albion 2, Derby County 1. Uh, so goals relatively uh, around halfway through the half and then a late goal as well. Uh, Cancelling out a Derby goal uh, around 30 minutes in and the Brewers go into the half time with the lead. Uh, so it was quite a quiet opening to the game, uh, but the Brewers did in fact take the lead uh, when uh, good work from Tabara found the ball out onto the right, ball across the face of goal, and uh, Liam Boyce fired into the net, uh, beating Scott Carson. Uh, then it was a pretty immediate reply from the Rams, uh, putting pressure on the Brewers' back line, and they uh, cross. Uh, an unmarked, uh, sorry, a cross uh, was put into the box and unmarked David Nugent nodded past Bywater. Uh, but the Brewers kept on pushing. Joe Sabara had a really good effort saved uh, from quite far out by Scott Carson. But then, as you do know, the Brewers did take retake the lead uh, on the 44th minute. Uh, nice ball out wide to Luke Murphy, who uh, dribbled his way inside the box and fired home with his left foot. And so I'd love to say that we can continue this and may probably get the 2-1 win. Uh, and I'll go with that uh, as my uh, improved uh, prediction. Finish 2-1. Uh, obviously no more goals. I uh, do think we'll play quite defensively. Uh, but yeah, we'll all find out soon when the second half kicks off. And uh, we'll see you guys when the teams come back out. Come on, you Brewers. Yeah, nice little half time team talk, Oz. Let, right then, lads, let's park the ball. To be fair, I've had Blackburn and Wigan in their drawing, so. time now we are back home and uh, it did actually finish Burton Albion 3 Derby County 1 uh, so a second half goal of the Brewers killed off the game and uh, defensively were very solid and uh, kept a clean sheet in the second half at least um, so yeah I mean the uh, 
Second half started uh, in Derby's favour. For the first 10-15 minutes, they've really uh, had most of the possession. Uh, but as was the case with the first half, they didn't really carve out any chances. And uh, 70 minutes in, uh, the Brewers came up the other end. Uh, a really nice passing move uh, eventually found its way to Hope Atpan. His shot was very well saved by Scott Carson, uh, but he could only palm it into the path of Lucas Aikens, who was hap who happily tapped into the open net and made it 3-1 to the Brewers. Um, then Derby really started to put pressure on us, as is the case most of the time. Uh, but unlike we've done in recent games against Middlesbrough and Birmingham, we held firm uh, defensively. And uh, although it looked like they might have uh, had a chance to uh, pull off a late comeback uh, when they got, when I believe it was Cameron Jerome was taken down uh, in the box, uh, it didn't look like a penalty. But um, it doesn't matter because big Stephen Bywater saved the penalty with his foot. Pretty poor penalty, uh, and the keeper managed to get his uh, two feet onto it. And uh, from there, nothing really happened. We happily just kept possession. And yeah, what a win, um, obviously against Derby as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's a win now uh, with results, uh, Barnsley and Bolton result probably going our way with the draw. Uh, you never know what could happen, uh, so just don't write us off just yet. And um, yes, yeah, so the next video is going to be that uh, Sunderland sort of match, which I will actually be travelling to. And that video will hopefully be up on Saturday night. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.